All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's gonna be a winter flounder session. It's kind of a, just a fun fishery that we have up here in the Northeast. Uh, they're just, they're not, not very big. You know, 12 inches is a keeper size, keep eight a day um, up here. And, uh, but they uh, are very good eating and they are fun to catch. There's a lot of the, uh, fishermen's first fish you know that they catch up here in the salt water so <clears throat> we're gonna give it a shot uh, just using the same rod use for fluke you can't get an occasional nicer one around 16 17 inches if you're lucky so um, just using a pre-tied rig today there's really nothing uh, you know fancy for rigging for flounder really that you need uh, we're gonna be using sea worms for bait and uh, clams one on each hook just to see what they're uh, really into but that's Real simple fishing. We got ourselves a gorgeous day. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Let's get fishing, guys. Uh, let's have some fun. All right, guys, this is what we're gonna be using for rig here. It's a uh, three-way swivel with a snap on it. You get yourself a little lead. This is only about an ounce right here. We're gonna see if this is gonna work. Uh, I got clam on the first hook and a sea worm on the second. And uh, before that thing bites me. Uh, they bite, so we'll try not to yeah, you can see him. He's going at the uh, hook right now. Um, that's it. Simple, simple, simple fishery. I'm drop it down and hope for the best. Uh, so winter flounder are, are very curious fish. Um, when they're down there, if you have any kind of movement, they're kind of attracted to it. So for my drifting, all I really do is that I want that sinker to be bounced on the bottom. I'm just giving them little tiny pops, leaving it down there. But uh, the pops are just to kind of puff that sand or mud up, um, which will, believe it or not, bring the flounder in. Um, movement's really important to this. But uh, other than that, extremely, extremely simple. That one? Ah, I think I might have one. Oh, yeah, that's a flounder. Ah, and I lost him. No, nah, I didn't get to see it. That thing is, it didn't feel very big. But it had the head shakes. Ah, well. I didn't really sit the hook. <laughs> oh. I don't know. That was just weight on it. It could have been a crab or I don't know, it's a flounder. There's one down there messing with me. Oh, that's not bad. oh yeah. Oh I bet. Yeah, small one. Ah, I got him that time. <laughs> hey, alright. There he is. On the worm. Yeah. All right. Ah. Come on, buddy. Come on. All right, guys. Winter flounder. This is going to be a short, I believe. But I got a small, cute little mouth on them. Uh, they are a right facing flounder. This is how you look at a flounder if you had the bottom of the jaw down here would be left facing this is a right facing um but yeah that's our target and uh hey you know what that's what i call success even though it's he's a small guy we're gonna measure him real quick but we'll be getting him back oh that was a f that was one 
Come on back for it. What's that? All right. Did you keep on getting hits? <laughs> it's gotta be a tiny one. But big enough to eat your clam. There we go. About time. Oh wow, got a little spunk this one. All right. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Yeah, it's a nice one. Beautiful fish. Let's see what it measures out. Oh yeah, 13 inches. Definitely a keeper, and definitely going home. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on, hit it again. Oh, I ripped it out of its mouth. Come back. Come on, eat it, eat it. Got on that time. There we go. Yeah, we'll do it like this. All right. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is definitely the one that Gary was feeding. So Gary fed some one over in this area. Look at the gut on that thing. This is the one, buddy. It's guts like a golf ball. Oh, definitely the one. <laughs> oh, I don't think he's gonna be a keeper, but. Oh. Yeah, 11 inches. Going back. There we go. There it is. And a skate. gonna happen eventually there it is all right so this is a th little ski all right let him go there we go come on come on Eat it. Yeah, big old green crab eating my. Get out of here. Hey Gary, come on. Yeah, it's the right kind. It's 
It's a really nice one. Oh, it's a fluke. Yeah. I don't know. He might be close. I think he might be a keeper. All right. Now this is a total surprise. This. Put this on spot lock here. Now this is a different species of flounder. You guys see me catch on the channel a lot. This is a summer flounder, also known as a fluke. And he actually might be legal. I gotta double check the lengths on this, but so this. This fluke is 17 inches on the dot. And uh, just looked it up. The size limit for Massachusetts this year is 16 and a half. So this is actually my first fluke that's a keeper of the year. And I caught it fishing for winter flounder. And we are north of Cape Cod and Cape Cod Bay. So if that tells you something, these fish are moving north. This is really cool. So this is gonna join the flounder for dinner. All right, guys, I'm gonna be uh, doing a little quick flounder identification for uh, everybody to see and understand. So what we got here is we have a summer flounder and this is a winter flounder. Um, if you look at them, they got some subtle differences, some not so subtle. Uh, if you look at the size of the mouth on a winter flounder, it's a very small mouth. Um, the mouths are very, very tiny. If you look at the mouth on a fluke, very large. Um, now, this is a left facing fish, this is a right facing fish. Um, bottom of the jaw goes to the bottom, and whatever way they're laying is how you tell that. Um, but really, that's Really, the only difference between these two fish here, they uh, both taste great, and I am excited to have these for dinner. All right, gonna be wrapping it up here. Um, fishing's not quite amazing today, so I'm just kind of wasting time at this point. But uh, did okay. I mean, I ended up getting one uh, keeper winter flounder. I think I had two throwbacks. And then I got that uh, keeper fluke, which was actually the biggest surprise this trip. That's actually really exciting because where I'm fishing right now, it's north of Cape Cod. We're in cold water. Uh, the fluke, you typically don't see much of them north of the Cape. That's my first fluke I've ever caught north of Cape Cod, and it's my first keeper north of Cape Cod, which is really, really, really cool. Um, so I got enough meat for dinner, which is great. I don't really need anything more than that. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll put a link with the one I'm using in the uh, description. And that way you guys can figure it out. And then uh, that's really it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.